Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February favorites and that month literally went by so fast. I can't believe we're already a week into March. I know I'm late, but better late than never, right? So yeah, let's just get so, on So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is my Urban Decay Dislick XL Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. And this thing right here, this spray, literally helps me so much, especially with spring and summer coming up and my oily skin and it's just not going to look cute. I'm so happy to have this so that I'm going to look under control and not cry cry. Um, yeah, I just really, really like this. It does help me stay and it does help my makeup stay on longer and I really, really The next two products I'm going to be talking about are concealers. This is the True Match L'Oreal Crayon Corrector and it's this super blendable crayon stick, gima jigger. Um, it twists up like this, if you guys can see. And I did already go grab a backup of this and I am in the shade Light Medium W45. So it's really, really blendable. There's the thing about this is um, you have to make sure you moisturize under your eyes or anywhere before you apply this concealer because it can crease. Just blend that in for you guys. So, you know. It does blend in pretty and nice. I have my CoverGirl Plus Olay cover stick and I'm in the shade Fair Light. This is light for me, but the shade darker than this was just way too dark for me. So I use this under my eyes, just kind of like a brightener concealer and I do like it. It has kind of a similar texture and consistency as a L'Oreal True Match and I do like this one a lot as well. Next thing that I have been enjoying the entire month of February is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation and I am in the shade 820 Creamy Natural and yeah I love that it has a pump and everyone has been recommending me to try this and I listened and I got it and I really foundation it stays on all day a lot of people say it has a medium buildable coverage, but I think this is a pretty good coverage foundation. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous foundation. The next two things I'm going to be talking to you guys are going to be blushes, and one of my favorite blushes right now is Fleur Power by MAC, and it is a satin blush, and it just looks like this. I really, really like this blush. I don't like shimmers because, hello, oily skin and shimmers don't look cute. So, yeah, I've just been really, really, really enjoying it's perfect this for an everyday look as well as maybe a spring look, a summer look. I can see myself wearing this color blush all year round, so I really, really do like it. And yeah, I am in love. The next blush I'm gonna be talking about is called Pink Swoon, and it is a sheer tone blush. It just looks like this. And I saw this and I was like, it's such a nice pink. It's like a really cute pink that I could just wear on a daily basis as well. Perfect for spring and summer, especially the springtime because it's just kind of like a baby pastel -y pink and I really like that. But what do you know? I went home and I was like, hey, you know, my e.l.f. blush in Pinktastic is a little bit brighter, but I can apply it lighter and it will give me the same payoff. So... This is Elf's Pinktastic, and you can get this for $3 at Target, and I did swatch it for you guys, and I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know why I swatch it at such bad places, but right there, you can see the two blushes, and I think they're pretty good dupes of each other. Um, the bottom one is Pink Swoon, and the top one is Pinktastic. So, hopefully you guys can see that, and yeah, I think it's a great, great dupe, especially for $3. My last but not least product that I've been loving all February is my MAC lipstick in Rebel, and that just looks like this. I'm sure everyone has seen it before. It's a really pretty purpley cranberry-ish color, 
And I've also found a dupe for this, and it is Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Fairy. So this is two dollars. This is fifteen. So you know, I do have it swatched right here for you guys. So the top one here is Rebel, and this one right here is Sugar Plum Fairy. As you guys can tell. The Rebel is a little bit more purple and this leans towards more of a pinky color but I think they're both quite the same and you could definitely get away with wearing Sugar Plum Fairy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe because it would make me very happy and my heart all fuzzy and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!